Hey, friends and family, subscribers, people who actually give a sugar butt what I put on my channel. This is Morgana Hill Ross, So Hot SL. Now, I'm going to make this video because yesterday I actually recorded a response video to the current people that are making extremely nasty comments on my YouTube channel. Now, this, the last one that I actually recorded was so in-depth. It was like, you know, I shared the comments, I showed the person's profile on Google, um, like their public profile, nothing personal, like nothing um, private. And the thing is, is I, I, it was funny because I suffered a software malfunction. Basically what had happened was, um, for whatever reason, my recording program did not pick up the audio. So, of course, I'm like, oh, crap, I'm going to have to redo it all. But then I thought, you know, why should I bother? Why should I bother giving that person um, more attention, more negative attention? And I just, I am happy that I had that, that malfunction because, honestly, it's just giving bullies another, you know, reinforcement and showing them that they had something over me and you know they don't because at the end of the day you know I turn off the computer and I'm not connected to anything that's going on on the internet so honestly to that person I hope you had your fun because it's done for me you know whatever you're going to think what you want to think. You're going to be mad at what you want to be mad at. You're going to make your comments. You're going to be cruel. And, you know, at the end of the day, I honestly, I can't say I care. You know, I'm sorry that, yes, I may have made a gender faux pas. But honestly, getting mad at somebody for not knowing your real life gender is like, getting mad at somebody saying that the sky is blue and somebody else saying no but it's azura as well and yeah it, or saying that there's life on mars but there's no way to prove it you know things like that actually uh, oddly enough somebody actually said there is life on mars like you know plant life or something like that but anyway that's veering off topic what i'm saying is getting mad at me for not knowing your gender when i've never spoken to you i've never heard your voice i've never checked out your channel i've never checked out your personal life information is like a waste of time okay so i said she when apparently the person was a he i am so sorry that is not something to throw a grandmaster tantrum over and i'm done with it now so you can continue to rage on if that is what you need to do, but I'm over it. I'm sorry that you were offended by myself calling you a she when you're actually a he, but I had absolutely no way of knowing this. I didn't feel comfortable making a generalized comment by saying they blew it out of proportion, okay, because there were other people involved in the conversation. So I'm sorry that you were offended. That was not my intention. And that is as far as I'm going with this because, woo, <laughs> whoops, my bad. I touched my uh, keyboard while I was doing this. Anyway, it wasn't my intention, and either you accept my apology or you don't. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because you're going to think what you want to think, you're going to say what you want to say, and that's it. All right, so moving on. Um, now, as many of you know, uh, because a lot of you that follow me are friends of mine, um, I live like a very isolated existence. Like I have my family, like my children, and I and I have Jeff here and Jeff's parents, and you know, of course, I have friends on uh, online, right? I mean, there's Tis, of course. There's like you know, my mom, and my dad, that kind of thing. But the thing is, is that I am stuck inside all the time um, because I can't go out during the day because I'm photosensitive. So I break out in this massive rash if I'm in the sun and going out at night is difficult because I can't walk. I don't know if many of you know that I need special equipment to be able to walk. And for those trolls out there, it has nothing to do with my weight. Actually, what had happened was I had a really bad fall. 
and I damaged my spinal cord. Okay, you know that little cord, that, not little cord, that long cord that's inside of your spine? Yeah, I damaged it. I have nerve damage, and I also have arthritis in my lower spine. Plus, you know, there's the swelling, and um, there's actually a designer. Uh, she is the owner of um, Delirium Style, Christy. She knows what I'm talking about when it comes to swelling. It is a horrible, horrible ordeal, and sometimes there's nothing that you can do to stop it. It just happens. It's part of uh, genetic makeup, you know. It's an illness. Unfortunately, there's nothing to do to go with there. Um, also, I recently found out that, um, and this is like really odd because my friends were pushing me to get tested for lupus, and. I never really took it seriously because lupus is a silent disease, okay? Or at least this is what I've known in the past, okay? This is what um, a long time ago I researched by an actual book. Anyway, <laughs> I, I heard about it before the internet came out. But um, what I remembered is that it is a silent illness with no actual visible um, traits. Unfortunately, now, here we are years later, and my friends kept on pressuring me, pressuring me, you should get checked, you should get checked. Well, I still didn't get checked. What had happened was um, I get this rash on my, on my cheekbones and on my nose when I go out in the sun, okay? And, of course, I get, like, you know, rashes and blisters on my arms when I go out in the sun. If you ever want to see my arm, I can show you scars from when I've been out in the sun too long. But, um... The thing is, is that I never thought of it, of, of lupus. Now, what had happened was my ankle had flared up with um, an ulcer on my ankle, um, not on the bottom or where a shoe would be rubbing, just on, like, the top of my ankle. Um, some of you have seen pictures of it. You know, some of you have even seen video of me getting my treatment done because I get bored and I start filming things. Anyway, um, what had happened was, I had to get this checked out at an orthopedic surgeon, and then I went to an endocrinologist, and I've been to a dermatologist, and I've been to all of these special doctors. I've even gone to a doctor for arthritis because that's how they were dealing with my back. And he looked at it, and he said that this is, um, its acronym is SLE. Now, Please don't tell me to to um, to um, pronounce it all because I can't. Okay, I've tried, and you guys know how I am with words. I trip over them, and especially when they're freaking scientific words, I can't do it. But I mean, I can link it, or you guys can. You know what? Better at you guys look it up because whenever I link things, people tend to get all moody and. B-I-T-C-H-E about it and try to say that I'm a hypochondriac. You know what? I wish. I wish I was. I wish that everything that I felt was fake. <laughs> I wish that everything I felt and everything that pops up on my skin were in my head, you know, because then I, you know, then it's medical and I could get, like, medication and deal with it that way. But unfortunately, it's not. It's not all in my head. It's an actual physical, you know, it's stuff that people can see. It's not silent. It's not all in my head. I wish it were. <laughs> Life would be so much easier if I was just a hypochondriac. <laughs> Actually, I think that the problem is, is that so many people in my life have always said that to me. You know, oh, it's all in your head. It's all in your head. There's nothing wrong with you. It's in your head. And everybody saying that finally made me believe it, and so I didn't get help when I actually needed it. Like with my ankle, my friends were, like my real friends were like, you've got to go see a doctor, you've got to get this checked out, you, you need to do this. And then my, my other friends who are nurses or have had experience with it are like, oh my God, you know, Angel, seriously, this looks really bad. By the way, my name is Angel for all of you just tuning in. Um, and... Uh, this thing on my ankle, when I went to the doctor, to the rhythmologist, is that it? I don't know. 
anyway, when I went to him, he, Rhythmanoi, Rhythmanoiology? Oh, whatever, you guys know what it is. <laughs> he looked at it, he took one friggin' look, right? He looked at my symptoms, the tiredness, I'm always tired, I'm always depressed, I'm always sick. You know, I'm, I feel like I've run a marathon when obviously I haven't. Um, he looked, one look at it, looked at my symptoms, and he says, you know, that I know exactly what this is. He detests, he came back, he said, this is what it is. And he explained to me what it was. It's, um, what happens is when I have a lupus flare-up, what it does is it can come across as the rash on my face, or it can, um, what's the term, masticize? Uh, God, he told me that, these words, and I, I don't know these words. I know them, but I don't speak them. So it's like, Ugh. basically, what it means is that every so often I might develop something like this ulcer. Right? It could happen on my on my leg. It could happen on my ankle, on my arms. It could happen anywhere. And when we look back, I've actually had one of these before on the back of my thigh, and. Um, Tis, my dad, my mom should remember this. I had one on the back of my thigh and we passed it off as a pressure sore because I have to sit all the time. But it wasn't a pressure sore, it was a flare up of my lupus. So for all you fun people out there that sat there and called me a hypochondriac, it's because of you that I didn't seek help. It's because of you and your nasty comments I let you affect my life. And that's why I'm saying it's enough. I can't let you people out there in La La Land who have no direct contact with my real life run my life anymore because I have this fear of somebody telling me it's all in my head that I'm crazy, you know? So because of that, because of the internet, I stopped getting help when I thought I needed help because of a fear of being told it's all in my head. So with this thing on my ankle, I knew it was there. Everybody knew it was there. They could see it, you know. But because of people constantly putting me down about being sick, constantly saying things like, oh, she Googled it, so it must be what's wrong, That's it's not fair to say that. Yes, I admit Google and WebMD and all that, those are bad things to do when you have a symptom. When you have a symptom, to hell with what people on the internet say. Don't Google it. Go to your doctor and get help, okay? To hell with what some loser who doesn't know a thing about you says. Go and get help because things like this should not happen. I feel horrible for people on the internet that listen to others on the internet that are just out there to hurt you. And that's what they did to me. They hurt me. They hurt my soul. They hurt my mind. They made me doubt myself. And from now on, to hell with everybody else. I don't doubt myself. I am going to get help when I need help. And that includes medications. That includes if I want to look up something that the doctor tells me, I'm going to do it. That includes with the people that sat there and said, oh, she Googled Asperger's, so she must have it. You know what? I was diagnosed when I was 22. So for you to sit there and, and say, oh, she Googled it. Google wasn't even broadly um available back then. I mean, yeah, okay, it was there, but it wasn't like, you know, everybody had a freaking computer in their home. It was still a luxury thing, okay? Now it's kind of a mandatory thing almost, a necessity. But the thing is, I was diagnosed when I was 22, and for those of you who do know how old I am, you know how long ago that was, okay? So don't sit there and say, oh, she Googled it, it must be what's wrong. Bite me, okay? Bite me. Take a big old chunk of my ass. Because you know what? I admit it. I'm a fat ass. You could come and take a chunk of my ass. Help me. We'll lose some weight. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm just, you know, that's another thing. People on the internet, they, they constantly hurt each other. And the chance, the, the, more, more, than, more often than not, it's some skinny twig that doesn't even know what being large means. Because you know what? When I was 18, I had an eating disorder. I had bulimia. 
I was 180 pounds at 18, and I thought I was fat. <sighs> Society really sucks, okay? 180 pounds at my height was not fat. It was actually underweight. But I listened to people around me, okay, in social circles and shit, you know? And that was before the Internet, so bite me. And now, I mean, I have this really, I, I try to have a positive outlook on how I look, but it's hard when you have these, these people like, oh God, like Nicole Arbor talking about fat people. I think I wanted to gouge my eyes out that day. You know, when I saw that video, I was just like, this skinny twig is telling us what it's like to be fat? Oh my God, seriously? I... If I could do more exercising, I would. I would be out walking around. I'd be running around. I would be joining a gym and going swimming at the YMCA and doing all of it. But I can't, especially when I'm having a lupus outbreak or flare-up, whatever. You know, <sighs> oh, my God. All I can say is there are mean people all over the place, and the Internet just makes it easier for them to find people like myself that do take things to heart, right? And that's not me making myself a target. That is me just admitting the fact that I know that I have a problem with listening to people on the internet and I gotta stop. I have to stop when people are making fun of my YouTube channel and I get upset about that. That is just a stupid reason to get upset so I'm not gonna do it anymore. See, ta-da, problem solved. I have to stop when I see people making fun of me going to the doctor to get help or looking online to see what people are talking about, I have to stop taking what they say to heart and thinking that because some asshole on the internet said that, you know, I'm a hypochondriac because I look something up to see what it's about and then turn around and chastise me for it, I have to stop listening to things like that. And that's my message to people like me that used to listen to things like that. Stop. If you think you know your own body, if you think something's not right, get it checked out. Go to walk-in clinic. Go to the hospital. Do what you need to do to take care of you and to hell with everybody on the internet. And yes, I do overshare. I share almost everything. Almost. Not everything. Um, I'll share concerns about my health, concerns that I have with finances, concerns I have with my computer, concerns that I have with the fact that I literally have no clothing. I have like, I don't know, two or three pairs of pants, um, one that is basically I wear as pajama pants or yoga pants, but they got stained because when I was pregnant, my water broke in them, and that stuff stains. If you don't get it out right away, yep, it stains. Um, and I, I have maybe like two shirts. Socks don't fit me because of the swelling. So for those people out there that take for granted all the stuff they have, you don't get it. You just don't. It's like you take for granted being able to walk. When you can't walk, you'll know. You take for granted having clothing or having access to clothing. I have a family, you know, anything that I do make, I put towards my family. My children need pants, my children need shirts, shoes, whatever, I get it for them, you know. I, I could, like seriously, there was this one year I had um, $320 saved up so that I could go and buy myself a winter jacket, okay. And this is my, my, my train of thought when it comes to money. I get to the store. I find a jacket that I actually like. It was $180 on sale, okay, down from like $400. I look at the jacket. I try it on. I'm able to zip it up, which back then I was actually 100 pounds heavier than I am now, so that gives you a clue there. I am actually losing weight to all those trolls out there. Um, anyway, so it was 100 pounds bigger and, of course, larger pretty much everywhere. You know, just because you have the weight, you it's not muscle all the time, you know. There are chunky bits here and there. And I was able to pull the jacket up and, you know, wear it and get it on comfortably. And I was about to check out. And then I'm like, wait, you know, Savannah needs 
um, Savannah really wants this book, right? So I grabbed the book, okay? And that was $18. And then Paige needed a new backpack, a lunch pail, and some books for school. So I grabbed that, added on, and I think I went over by $20. And do you know what I put back? The jacket. I put the jacket back because my children were more important to me. So those people out there that sit there and chastise me being online and say that my, my internet is more important than my children, you guys don't know shit about me. So my point is, is that my children come first. I'm going to, from now on, I'm going to stop listening to people on the internet when it comes to my health. My health is more important than what you need to say. And for my YouTube channel, again, all I can say is it's my YouTube channel. I can choose to say what I want to say. And if you don't like it, then you can kiss my ass and leave. Um, actually, today was really nice. Um, a girl named Car, is it Car or Care? Okay, it's K-A-I-R, I believe. I don't have it pulled up right now, so I can't tell you. Um, she messaged me and told me that um, she liked my channel and she gave me this amazing compliment. It was like a good paragraph full and I got it to my email last night or this morning. But either way, it really made me feel so much better. Okay, like it took, a, it took all the pain that I got from the people on YouTube, the trolling stuff, and it made me feel so much better. Also, I'd like to send out an apology to Super MH. He or she, they, that person made a comment about my microphone, and I, I, I said the first thing on my mind, and that's the problem with ASD. You pretty much say the literal of everything, and it came off rather bitchy. And when I went back and I looked again, I said, "Okay, yeah, all right. I guess it could have been, you know." It could have been perceived as bitchy, and I'm really sorry for that. So to Super MH, I hope you're still watching, and I, I really, really, really hope that you accept my apology. I mean, if you don't, then there's nothing more I can say, but I'm assuming that you will because it wasn't that big of a deal. But to the other person that decided to step in and just be kind of a jerk to me, um, I don't need you on my channel. You can go away. I tried to do what... My friends told me, and that was block the person instead of getting upset about it, because it did upset me. Um, I tried to do what my friends told me to do, which was block them and be done with it. Turns out they didn't like that, and they came back on another account to troll me some more. And I just, I don't know what to say. All I can say is that it wasn't that big of a deal. You shouldn't have gotten so rude with me. And um, Super MH, I really do hope you're listening. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to be bitchy. I come off that way sometimes, and I don't mean to. And just like flirting, apparently I do it. And I honestly, I don't. It's not my intention. I don't set out to be a flirt. It just, it's just who I am. It's part of my personality. You know. Seriously, when I actually set out to flirt, I suck. <laughs> I'm a really horrible flirter and then people are like getting mad at me for flirting and apparently I make people uncomfortable and it's like okay well then tell me when I'm making you uncomfortable don't be a little bitch and sit on your ass and complain to other people about it come to me tell me you know don't like blast me on YouTube or blast me on guild chat or blast me in public chat just say hey you know this kind of made me uncomfortable. You think it could lay off or, you know, or this made me uncomfortable. Is this what you meant to say? You know, don't be a childish person, you know. <laughs> it's 2016, people. It's almost 2017. Grow a pair of balls and actually speak your concerns. Okay, so I guess that's it for now. <laughs> Oh, yes, my um, SL dad, but he's, I adopted him. I made him my real life dad. <laughs> anyway, he um, suggested, because I am isolated and at home all the time and basically run out of things to do, and I am, I don't know, I get depressed because of that, um, he suggested I make a wish list on Amazon, 
and post it on my social media. Um, at first, I wasn't going to do this because I've asked the public for help in the past for uh, something else, and within minutes of me posting it, I had death threats, I had trolls, I had people bullying me. But this, I guess, is different. I mean, this is something that if somebody out there chooses um, to pick something off of the wish list, it gets sent to me privately. So I don't have to worry about, like, you know, my, my real life information being shared or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to post that if, you know, I, I'm not saying please look at this and get me something, you know. I'm saying that if there's somebody out there that actually does look at it and think that they can send something, then great, you know. But I'm not going to beg anybody for anything. I don't like doing that. Um, it's bad enough when I have to ask um, Tisriel to help me out in SL or with WoW or, you know. It's bad enough that I, I asked Tisriel and Tisriel is my SL partner. So if anything, I should be able to talk to him about stuff. I should be tell, able to tell him you know, when I've got a problem or when I, when I want something or need something, but it, it, it makes me feel strange. I don't know. I think it's because of my upbringing. Um, I grew up having to take care of myself and it just, I don't know. I, I, I feel weird posting it. I really do, but I'm going to because, you know, he suggested it, and I take his suggestions to heart. So, Dad, a.k.a. Delcor, a.k.a. Jim, uh, thank you for the suggestion. I will post it. Um, I'll post it on YouTube, and I'll post it on my blog. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. There are things like clothing, because I don't have any. And it's not like I chose, like, really expensive things. I think everything that I've chosen is under $20, like, something from five bucks and up, you know, and before you're a troll and say, oh, it's only five dollars, you know what, only five dollars is a bag of milk, when I say a bag of milk, I mean a three liter or whatever the heck it's called, four liter, four liter bag of milk, um, five dollars is a loaf of bread and some sandwich meats for my kids, um, you know, people take for granted, I swear to God, but, um, Everything I own goes to my children, and it would just be nice to have something for me for once. And obviously, I can't be in charge of getting something special for myself because their needs outweigh mine. And when, even when I need something, like a winter jacket, I, for some deranged reason, when I look at this, this jacket that I need, and then the books that my kids need, I put my jacket back and I get my kids the books. Um, actually, that whole money that I saved up, the only thing I got for myself out of that entire thing was I got um, a liter of ice cream. Actually, it wasn't even ice cream. It was sherbet or sherbet, sherbet, sherbet. Yeah, I got sherbet. Uh, orange flavored sherbet because it by the end of the day my stomach was so in knots I ended up getting ice cream well not ice cream it, it, I don't know what it is it's like ice with a little bit of cream I don't I don't even know what it's made of see tangent anyway long story short moral of the story for anyone who's still listening don't listen to people on the internet because in the end your best interest is not theirs. Their best interest is to hurt you and make you doubt yourself. I'm not talking about the good people. I'm talking about the bad people. The people that sit there and say, oh, I'm not a bully, I'm not a bully, and turn around and bully you. <laughs> Trust me, the Internet is full of people like that. So don't listen to them. They're not worth your time. I know I should listen to my own advice sometimes, and I'm going to try. I'm not perfect. I'm human, but I am going to try. Anyway, to everybody who's still listening, thank you for following my channel. Um, thank you for listening to what I have to say. Um, and, oh, here is my outfit. <laughs> I should show that off. 
Uh, that is cutting through my, oh, I can't even show you that. That's the skirt cutting through. It's, um, it doesn't do that normally. I'm just in an awkward position right now. Those shoes are from Rain. The dress is from Fashionly Dead. I'm having trouble with my mouse right now. Um, the wings, I can't even pronounce the store. I think it's called um, As As Austria. Uh, I'm not sure, but the name of the, the store will be on my um, blog. The necklace is from Revere, I think, Revere. The hair is from, I'm not even 100% sure. I think it's from Bessam, but I could be wrong. So please don't um, quote me on that. But it's from the arcade. It's a rare. Um, or is it? Yeah, I think, no, 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 no. This is the black version, the black and white version. Uh, the necklace is from the arcade. The skin is from Alter Ego, from the actual store. And I believe it's either a group gift or it might have been part of the Midnight Madness. Um, I would have to actually open everything up to look, but I can't at the moment because it will eat so many resources. I'll probably crash. Uh, my eyes are also a gacha. They're from the actual store, and you're going to have to look at the blog post to see that as well. My shoes from Rain are also part of the gacha, the uh, arcade gacha. My wings come from the actual store. My tattoo is from Facade, of, of course. I've been blogging it like crazy. Um, oh, my God. I'm sorry I get on this tangent all the time. I'm sorry that my videos end up being longer than they really need to be. But I wanted to put all of that out there. Again, um, to care, thank you for your comment. It really brightened up my day. It made the last couple of days just erase, and that helped so much. You have no idea. Um, to super, is it super MH or Superman MH? I'm sorry for coming off as a bitch. I totally didn't mean to. It was just the first thing that came to my mind and I typed it out. And that is something that I have to work on. I have to stop and think before I type things out or before I say things. Because I do tend to say the first thing that comes to my mind. So I was probably in a bad mood. And when I saw the microphone comment, I probably just knee-jerk reaction. And I was a bitch and I'm sorry. To the person that got really, 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 really butthurt about me saying um, she when apparently they're a he, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't know you in real life. I don't know you on Second Life. I don't know what sex you choose to portray. So I'm sorry that you were offended. That was not my intention. But you have to admit getting involved in a comment that had nothing to do with you and saying what you did was kind of rude. And I reacted. But um, sorry that you were offended, and I'm sorry I just was bitched just now and said butt hurt. That was probably rude, and I'm sorry. It was the first thing that came to my mind, and I said it, and I still have to work on that. To everybody else, thank you for following my channel. Please subscribe, and also follow me on my media down below. And for those of you who actually take the wish list serious, thank you. Um, I'm not asking for charity. I'm just saying that, you know, if you're able to, then great. Thank you. But if not, please don't think of it as charity. Don't think of me asking or begging for anything. It's just a suggestion made by my dad. There's, like I said, there's clothing on there. There are coloring books on there. There's art supplies. Um, I want to get into reborn, reborn creating. So there's, I think there's a thing for paint on there. I think that's the most expensive part. Other than that, I don't know. Anyway, I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.